Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and a brand new series where I will be giving you an overview about the Mendix's ISV program and then we will build a demo application in step-by-step -step tutorial videos. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon and do not forget to like this video. Let's get started. So, have you ever considered turning your Mendix application or an idea into a product and selling it to other players in the market while also safeguarding your intellectual property? If you said yes, Mendix ISV program is all you need. What is an independent software vendor? It is an individual or organization that develops markets and sells software solutions to further be customized and extended by the buyer right, to suit their needs. So Shopify is a great example of this. If someone wants to start an e-commerce company, they can go to Shopify, select a plan, build or purchase a theme for customized look and feel and add different connectors if they want or any other further integrations and then they're ready to launch. The buyer does not have to worry about how Shopify fetches products from catalogs or from product catalog from the database or how add to cart functionality works. So the same way, um, Mendix ISV is something similar. <coughs> um, Mendix at core is a platform that helps deliver better code and uh, faster development times. But now it has something amazing to offer for companies or organizations that want to convert their existing applications or new products and sell it to different customers, right? Um, it now offers the ISV feature that allows companies to build and sell products while maintaining control over their commercial solution and also safeguarding their intellectual property. So control does not mean customers have 100% dependability on the product that you are selling. It means you as the organization that owns the product have control on what you open up for the customers and what is kept behind the doors. So you now have power to govern your code. They're further easy to implement and customizations give your customer um, power to integrate and <coughs> they can um, integrate with anything, right? Or build experiences quickly on top of uh, the solution you have uh, they purchased from you. So at the click of a button, they can in pull your solution into or pull your solution into their application, um, look at the changes and then accept reject changes. And that's it. They have upgraded their application and then um, build new customizations or integrate new features into or into it if they want. Right. So that's the power of um, ease of implementation and customizations. And then with the new versioning system, um, you now have the capability to add versioning to each modules before shipping it to your customers. So this will also help in rolling out core updates more smoothly and seamlessly. Um, repeatability allows the product to be packaged into multiple or into a solution and then shipped to multiple customers. So again, you build it once and send it out as many times as you want. It's again, very simple and easy to implement, right? So Mendix in general is simple and the ISV um, structure that Mendix has built is also very simple. So there is, there is no complications involved here. Um, and it's again, you can easily implement all these safeguards and, um, or, and keep them, uh, keep your critical components safe, uh, which will be hidden from your customers. So they will be using it in the background, right? Um, or their application will be using it in the background, what you ship to them. But because you mark those things as hidden, they cannot see what you ship to them or they cannot see the code also inside it, right? Um, so that makes them, makes this very powerful on what you can govern and what, um, so using governance, what you can open and what you cannot, or what you can keep closed. So that's the, that's Mendix ISV. 
Now, what's the advantage of this? The, uh, the main advantage is that the core code base, right, um, is highly efficient and it is, it can be modified by a single organization only. So say your organization is, um, owns this, this piece of the core code, then only you guys can, can op, um, or whom you allow can only modify the code and the organization owning the core code base can have tight control over what's being shipped to the customers. Now, <coughs> because you have the power of governance and you can safeguard, uh, and sorry, because you have the power of governance, you can also safeguard your intellectual property. So, Say if your organization wants, um, it can have everything locked down and allowing the user or the customer to only customize the, the UI elements, right? And nothing else. Or if you want, um, if you want to keep few things open and let them build on top of it, you can allow those things as well. Now, scalability and customizability are at the core of Mendix, right? So um, it doesn't need any, any additional uh, explanation about it. But the biggest advantage of Mendix ISV has to be the accelerated time to revenue and not even time to develop, right? Because we all, we all know the Mendix has the accelerated time to time to market because you can build applications so fast on Mendix. But with the Mendix ISV, um, due to the the power of Mendix now, and plus combining the power of the ISV feature, now what you have is accelerated time to revenue, which means once you have built a product or once the product is ready, it is like a photocopier machine. Um, there are definitely some factors involved um, on the speed, but it again depends on how your business model is structured. So one of the factors involved can be customization. Um, if you have a customer success team, right, that help, that you want to be involved with the customers on customizing their solutions, then those things might take time. But, but in general, there's no stopping or no stopping you or bottleneck at, at how fast you can sell whatever you've built. So, so that's, that's the, the advantages over here. <coughs> now, because this is a new program, Mendix has a lot to offer, right? So Mendix wants companies to use this feature and, and it is doing all it can so that, um, it, so that people can grow. So how does Mendix help? Um, if you have an amazing product idea, you can apply to be a Mendix ISV partner and Mendix will always have a team ready for you so that they can help you with step-by-step -step ass assistance on, on, uh, on everything, right? So be it training, technical enablement and anything. So anything that can help you win, they have it. Um, the ISV team also helps you with solution reviews, which means how secure is the solution that you have built? Um, is it scalable? Is it utilizing the full potential of Mendix's platform or uh, even, even including your, your architecture review, right? So they can, they can give you all the technical assistance you want, right? Or your, your development team wants. So this is Mendix's power, like the power of Mendix capabilities plus the ISV platform plus the the all the all the network that Mendix has, it will it will give you everything, right? So, and then and then what they also have is so if you are ready to launch an ISV startup, um, what they have is they have a partnership program. So make sure you apply for the uh, Mendix startup ISV program, and they'll give you all the assistance, um, all the assistance you need, right? And the main focus while evaluating your application for Mendix is um, to recognize the the full potential of the founder, right? So that they just want to check if the founder has the potential to execute the commercial solution idea that they are suggesting. So, so that's the only thing they look for. Um, that's it. So yeah, if you're ready to launch an ISV startup, just apply for the Mendix startup ISV program and you should be good to go. So I hope you learned a lot in this in this video and 
and you got an overview of Mendix's ISV platform. And now that now that this overview is done, uh, I will also be releasing three more videos in the coming few days. And these videos will talk about um, in the first video, we will talk about, we'll give you a walkthrough about how to set up a Mendix, how to set up Mendix Studio Pro and enable solutions modules and build a small demo application, right? In the second video, we will continue building on the demo application and then, and then we will walk through the process of how to export the, the application packages or solution packages uh, from the core that we have built in the first video and in the second video and then um, how to import that into the implementation application so basically your customers application and then in the third video we will walk through on how to customize what was imported in the customer application during the second video and how to customize everything into oh, and then and then go live with it so so that's the three videos uh, we'll be talking about um yeah i hope you are excited for this uh for this whole series and 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 i hope you you like the future videos as well so this brings a wrap for today thank you so much everyone for watching this video and please subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on linkedin to be notified when new videos are released thank you